Good morning, I'm Dennis Miller. We're here at the Alameda County Fair, the Oak Tree at Pleasanton Meet. We're here Sunday morning. We've got the works going on behind us, as you can see, and we're gonna go over the Sunday card for Sunday, July 3rd. Hope everyone's having a great 4th of July weekend. We got Arabians right out of the gate today, and the one that looks the best on paper has been running good races against better fields is Ozark Kaolina. Ozark Kaolina in the first. Second race is a Jack Robinson Handicap. It's named after the late rider Jack Robinson, who actually perished on the track while he was saving the life of another rider. Tremendous gentleman, uh, very worthy of this honor and this race being named after him. And we've got Jiffy James shipping up from Los Alamitos, a quarter horse maven. Uh, coming up here, looks very strong, looks ready to go. So we'll go with Jiffy James and the Jack Robinson Handicap. Third race, we've got She's flush as the best horse in this mile and 70 yard contest for the Ed Mosier Barn with Frank Alvarado up. Three of six in the money this year. Looks like it's the best on paper in this race. She's flush. In the fourth, we've got some of the babies. The two-year-olds are coming out here today. I'm gonna to take a chance with Wishing Heart out of the Terry Knight barn. Yet to run a race, this is the debut. But Terry Knight's a very savvy trainer. He's been drilling over this track and he draws the services of Kyle Frey, one of the top jockeys out here for this race. So let's go with Wishing Heart in the fourth. In the fifth, we're gonna go six furlongs. I like fast pass for the Ed Mosier and Alejandro Gomez riding. It's a very solid run in their last start together, the same combination. They come back today and turn in that identical effort and it's gonna be right in the thick of things. Looking for fast pass in the fifth. In the sixth, for Corey, Corey Owens will send out Tay Lear um, in the sixth furlong. He's got Kyle Frey up, that's a big plus. Um, comes off a second place run here over the track. So he's run well here, was comfortable. Uh, came back, rested, and now he's ready to go today. Seventh race, let's go with Regal Girl for Jerry Hollendorfer. Regal Girl for Jerry Hollendorfer. Flash speed in the debut and then faded. Uh, Hollendorfer obviously can get him ready. Second time out, I'm liking this horse to be much more fit. Comes out and uh, they're only going five and a half. Regal Girl, I think, is the one to beat. Eighth race, Paz Catch, P-A-S-Z-C-A-T-C-H, Paz Catch. Once again for Jerry Hollendorfer. And I think the horse has got a perfect style, has a great tactical speed to sit right off the lead and will be flying at the end, go with pass catch in the eighth. The ninth is the biggest stakes of the meet. It's the $100,000 Everett Nevin stakes at five and a half furlongs for two-year-olds. Now, let me give you some names. Doug O'Neill, Mario Gutierrez, Paul Redham. You recognize that? You should. That's the trainer, the rider, and the owner of Nyquist, your Kentucky Derby winner this year. They're here with rinse and repeat, a two-year-old. Could be their big horse next year, we don't know. But he's coming up here, he's gonna run in this race. I'm gonna go with first time with Jeff Bondy's jet ski. Jeff Bondy's jet ski in this race. The horse has been drilling over this track viciously. Bullet works everywhere in the resume. Uh, of all the stakes races here in Jeff Bondy, the Nevin is the most important to him. The Bondies and the Nevins were very good friends. He wants to win this. He's gonna bring Jet Ski out here, ready to roll. You just don't know with first time starters, I'm willing to take the chance. Let's go with the Northern California horse over the Southern California horse. In the 10th, I love this name of a horse, Larry Birdstone. Larry Birdstone sounds like a horse from the Flintstones. Steve Sherman gets a shipper. This is one of my favorite angles. You get a horse that's underperforming in Southern California. They ship him up to Steve Sherman's barn. He wins at almost 30% with those. This is the angle we've got with Larry Birdstone in the 10th. Take that to the bank. And finally, the 11th. Steve Sherman's gonna close it out with another win here. Many shades of gray. Sherman's gonna get two straight, close it out. That's the card here for Sunday, July 3rd. We hope to see you tomorrow on Independence Day.